Cougar Nation. I'm Rachel. I'm El Jefe's wife filling in for Ethan Erickson who is sick today and we have Elma Calvert from the women's basketball team here with us and she talked a little bit about high school and a little bit about playing for BYU this year in part one and this is part two and we're going to talk a little bit about how her high school team went to state and also her comp team that she was on. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so do we start with high school or? Yeah, um, sure. Okay. Um, so my high school team was super awesome. I had like seriously the best coach in the state of Utah. Like I, we always say that about her, but she was super awesome. Um, our practices would be, always be super long, um, but we got we got pretty good. Um, a lot of the girls on the team I had actually played with since like I was like six. Like I I knew a lot of them really well. Um, there, there've been a couple that have gone D1, some D2, NAIA, like just, we're all over the place. Some but, successful mm -hmm. players coming from, from that yeah. school. Yeah, for sure. Um, so our region, um, up north, we actually never lost a game in region, my four years of being there. So wow. <laughs> that was kind of cool. And then the year after, um, they didn't lose either. So it was like, we had like a five year no lose streak, wow. which is super, which yeah. is crazy. So, but we won. So yeah, we won my freshman year and then we won state my um, senior year. And when we won state, we actually got invited to um, nationals in Florida, which is crazy. Wow. Had <laughs> so, you ever been to Florida before? Um, no, I hadn't ever been to Florida yet, which we did go again last year for um, a tournament with BYU. So that was kind of fun uh -huh. to go back. So. Did you get to go to Disney World? No, oh, darn not. It. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> well, tell us about your comp team. Um. Okay, so I was on a EYBL team, so we were Nike sponsored. Um, I played for Colorado Premier. Um, so my coach was um, Keith Van Horn. He was super awesome. Um, all the coaches, all the coaches were. We we got to travel like quite a bit. Um, but since we were, it was a Colorado. EYBL team, we don't really have one in Utah. So we had to travel a lot. So not every weekend, but most weekends we would drive like four hours to Colorado to practice. And your whole family would go or crazy. your parents or No, we would oh. we would have um, one of the girls' dads would usually drive. That's He's nice. also a coach. Mm -hmm. Um so we just get like rent a big like bus car type thing and then just all drive down there. So that was kinda crazy. Was it fun? <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Yeah. We would stay in like a little hotel just for a couple of days, have like two or three practices and drive back. Wow. <laughs> I know. What was that like being on to winning teams like that? Was that a lot of work for you, a lot of practice time? Yeah, I mean, they didn't they didn't really overlap like the like when we actually played games. Um, we would practice a lot, both of them at the same time. But um, it was really fun. We got to travel to quite a few different states. Um, went to Virginia. Went to Illinois, like you Chicago. Drove? No, those oh, ones we applied okay. to. Those ones we applied to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like some of them I had never been to, so it was like really cool to yeah, get to do that. Travel a lot. Mm -hmm. What was yeah. it like being sponsored by Nike? Really, really super awesome. Yeah. We got a um, couple pairs of shoes in the summer, um, bags, get, like all sorts of gear. It was really nice. They took care of us, that's yeah. for sure. <laughs> Did they pay for your travel too? Um, a little bit, I think. I can't remember, honestly, mm -hmm. to be honest, but yeah. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So you grew up in Far West. Mm -hmm. What was that like? It was good. I actually I actually grew up in Pleasant View, okay. which is like um, 10 minutes north of Far West. And then like fourth grade, I moved to Far West because I actually um, was going to go to a different high school and went to some little camps growing up and I wanted to go to Fremont because of the coach actually. Oh. So we actually just moved up and You <laughs> moved, moved to be with your, uh, the coach you wanted. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yeah, she was awesome. So I'm really glad we did. Do you still uh, stay in touch with her? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually text her quite often. She texted me after our last game and was like, so sorry about the loss, but oh, yeah. but yeah. She's awesome. She keeps in touch. I text her a lot, call her. Did your family come to all your games? Um, last year they didn't come to 
any of the away ones as much, mm -hmm. just because I didn't really play as much mm -hmm. last year. Um, but this year I've been playing more so. They've been coming to most of the away ones, but they do come to all the home ones, especially last year too. Mm, that's so. nice. They're not too far away. So, so they all like basketball? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So which sibling are you the closest with? <laughs> um, I don't know. I I don't know, because Sarah, so Sarah's my older sister. She is obviously the only other girl in the family, um, other than my mom. But um, So I'm close with her because of that. But then my two brothers are both hilarious. I just love to be around them because they're so funny. So there's four of you in your mm -hmm. family? There's four. Yep. And where do you fall? I'm the second oldest. My sister's older, and then me, and then my two younger brothers. So your older sister uh, is at BYU as well? Mm -hmm. And does she play basketball as well, or no? No, she she's actually in the law program here. So wow, that's it's kind of crazy. You yeah. guys are smart and athletic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have it all. We try. We try. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching part two with Emma Calvert and make sure you watch part three.